So you have a research paper to do, and your professor wants you to find sources using the library's databases. What makes library databases so special? Why can't you just search online? When you do a Google search, you are searching news websites, educational websites, online stores, blogs, images, videos, and more. You'll get millions of results. Not only is that a lot of information, it can be a lot of information that is not useful to you, and it can be difficult to narrow down that list of results. Also, if your professor has asked you to use a certain type of source, say a peer-reviewed journal article, you may be able to find them with a Google search, but you might not be able to see the full article, and you might even be asked to pay. With library databases, it's different. Each library database provides access to a set of newspapers, magazines, academic journals, and other sources. Some databases are multidisciplinary, meaning they cover a little bit of everything, and others cover specific subjects like biology or psychology. When you use a library database, there are ways to limit your searches to specific types of sources, like newspaper articles or peer-reviewed journal articles. You can also limit by publication year and by other things like publication name or by subject. Library databases allow you to focus your search and narrow in on results that fit the criteria you need. Databases also give you access to the full text of articles, options to email articles to yourself, and even get the article citation. And best of all, everything you find in the library databases is free. So how do you get to these databases? From the library homepage, click on Databases A through Z, then select the database you'd like to use. If you have questions about which database to use or the best strategies to search for articles on your topic, call or email us or visit us at the reference desk. Thanks for watching.